Hello this is Professor Rivera Michu with another video clip for you. In this video I will discuss normal blood flow through the heart. Deoxygenated blood is collected from all veins of our body towards the superior vena cava from our upper body and the inferior vena cava from our lower body. The deoxygenated blood drains into the right atrium and when that contracts, the tricuspid valve opens and the right ventricle dilates to receive the blood. Once the right ventricle is full, it starts the process of contraction, which then closes the tricuspid valve to prevent backflow of blood back to the right atrium. This contraction also opens the pulmonic semilunar valve, which takes the deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary arteries and to the pulmonary capillaries which surround the alveoli. The process of gas exchange happens as carbon dioxide diffuses through the capillaries to the alveoli and out for exhalation, followed by inspiration and diffusion of fresh oxygen through the airways to the alveoli, to the pulmonary capillaries, which the returns to the pulmonic veins. From the pulmonic veins the now oxygenated blood enters the left atrium, and as the atrium contracts, the mitral, or bicuspid, valve opens and blood is pushed to the left ventricle. Contraction of the left ventricle pushes blood through the aortic semilunar valve through the aorta, the aortic arch, down to the thoracic aorta, abdominal aorta, and the rest of the body for perfusion. For more videos on anatomy and physiology of different systems, pathophysiology of different conditions, pharmacological and overall management of care, please like, subscribe, and share.